What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into the final issue of Black Panther Legends. This will be issue number four, bringing everything to a close. If you have not been keeping up with this story, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this more or less reinvention of an origin story to T'Challa and Black Panther. With T'Challa returning home and now being crowned king, he still has some very serious choices to make, and that is to continue what his father started, open up Wakanda to the world, or follow his brother's instructions and keep them secluded from everybody. Not only that, he still has to track down the murderer that killed his father because the claw was never truly found be sure to buy the comic support the industry and with that being said let's dive into this breakdown all right gang so as we dive into this final issue T'Challa has won the tournament. He has proven himself to be Wakanda's strongest warrior. The people are believing in him, but right now Hunter is the one individual letting him know that opening themselves up to the world, it is a mistake. That is exactly what got their father killed. But Hunter, unwilling to fight his brother, what he will do is leave. He will go hunt down the killer of their father, bring him to justice once and for all. After they say their goodbyes and his brother leaves, this is where we see T'Challa's uncle come in. Coming in to just give him a little bit of counsel. As they go for a walk, they have a discussion on what to do next. T'Challa truly does want to follow his father's dream of opening Wakanda to the world. But all of his advisors, at least most of them, they're advising against doing this. Not sure if he is making the right decision, he goes to his uncle for counsel and tries to figure out what he should be doing. Now, his uncle doesn't tell him to do it or not to do it. He simply tells him to believe in what he he truly thinks is best to go with your gut feeling if you believe this country would be better opened up to everybody else then do that getting interrupted by shuri there is a brand new suit that is waiting for him while it looks exactly like the one he is wearing this suit has been upgraded this is a gift from reed richards this is the suit that absorbs kinetic energy as he tries on this new suit, they get an alert that there is unidentified Wakandan ship making its entry over the airspace. T'Challa not skipping a freaking beat as this airship is not hailing to any responses. They are getting ready to shoot it down out of the sky. As things go from 0 to 100 very quickly, we see the Fantastic Four, they jump out of this airship and they are ready to lay down some hate. With the thing going in on Black Panther, trying to do some clobber in time, hitting Black Panther, he is able to absorb all of that kinetic energy, sending out a blast wave of energy, we see the thing taken down to the ground. Shuri coming in and stopping this before it gets any more serious trying to let T'Challa know that this is the Fantastic Four. This is Reed Richards. This is the guy that gifted you that suit that you are now wearing. With this unfortunate mistake now out of the way, they all go sit down, they start having a discussion. Reed Richards and Shuri just picking at each other's brains, trying to figure out all of the real applications for Vibranium, letting T'Challa know that they're not here to recruit him for the Avengers or anything like that. They're not here for Vibranium vibranium either. They're here to just have a discussion with the man, with T'Challa himself, letting him know that outside the walls of Wakanda, there are some times where they might need his assistance, and they could help him vice versa. That there could be a very mutually beneficial partnership if, if Wakanda and T'Challa are willing to do so. Being very rudely interrupted, and that is because there is a giant gorilla beast outside to destroying parts of the city. As they go in to take down this beast, they are getting reports that someone is going after the Vibranium. The Fantastic Four letting T'Challa know that they will handle this monstrosity
monstrosity that the Fantastic Four is going to take care of everything, you can go take care of the Vibranium. This is where we see Ulysses. He is the one that is orchestrating all of this. As the Red Panthers come out and begin to attack them. As the Claw goes to send an energy blast directly at Black Panther. What he doesn't know is that this is a new suit and Black Panther has leveled up. Absorbing the entirety of this blast. He is able to take in all of this energy. And with one good kick, we see the Claw taken down. Knocked into what appears to be a secret laboratory they never knew anything about. From that laboratory, we see nothing but flames. Believing this to be the end of Ulysses, back in the city with the Fantastic Four, all of these beasts, they start disappearing. Believing that Claw is now gone forever, he goes to the Fantastic Four and he thanks them for their assistance. This is the beginning of a brand new fantastic partnership. And as a gift for all of their efforts, he gives them a great good handful of vibranium. Taking us a little bit later, we have Black Panther and Hunter meeting up. Black Panther has been trying to get his brother's forgiveness for quite some time. He is hoping that his brother is going to understand he is just fulfilling their father's wishes. With their father's killer now believed to be dead, these two brothers might be able to find a way to reconnect. What they don't know is back in Wakanda, we see a fist coming up through the dirt. And that is where this series will end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. While there are some very relatively small changes, this is a great revisit into the lore of Black Panther. Into Hunter, him opening up everything, us learning the Fantastic Four was really one of the first individuals to come to Wakanda. Not only that, they helped design Black Panther's now current suit that, that is able to to absorb kinetic energy so on and so forth it's really just a great fun retelling of stories we we really relatively know up to this point adding some small details here and there filling in the gaps giving us more backstory to the amazing world of wakanda black panther t'challa and everything that goes along with it with it being only four issues it was relatively nicely paced the writing was a lot of fun the artwork was pretty awesome all in all I don't have many complaints when it comes to this story and while usually I'm wanting more from a story we have the other Black Panther line that is currently ongoing so the fact that this one is ending is not really disappointing it told its story it got what it needed to tell out and if you want more Black Panther you can go over to the other series where it's picking up in current time and everything that T'Challa is dealing with. But let me know what you think, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. Now if you can't do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, make sure you hit that notification bell, and until the next breakdown.